Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Are you guys awake yet? <laughs> you look tired. <laughs> All right, well, today's sermon I chose is called, If God Tells You Can Do It, You Can Do It. Do you ever feel like you're too young to do something or too little to do something? Has anybody ever asked you to do something you're like, I can't do it? Yeah, me. Yeah? yeah. Like what? Oh, preach a sermon. Preach a sermon? I remember I thought I could do that. Well, when you asked me to do children's sermons, I went out to the and I'm like, I don't think I can do it either. But well, I had faith Well, I could teach a lesson about telling time or fractions or something like that, but a church sermon, I'm like, I don't know the Bible that well. But God helps me get up here. Amen. He helps me. But let's think, you play baseball. Did your coach ever say to you, I want you to try first base? And you're thinking, I never played first base before. I can't do it. Did your coach ever ask you to do something? Yeah? You're a pitcher, aren't you? No? I was thinking you're a pitcher. Yeah, I am, but not. Okay. Do you ever get stuck on homework and have a problem? And you're like, Mom, I can't do this. I need help. Well, God has a plan for each and every, well, both of you, each and every one of us. Before we were even born, he had a plan for us. And this story is based on Jeremiah, and God went to Jeremiah before he was born, and he says, I want you to speak to all nations in the world and tell them about me. And Jeremiah says, I'm not a good speaker. I can't do that. I'm too little. And God says, don't say you can't do something. So God touched Jeremiah. He put his hand up to his face, and he touched his mouth, and he says, you're going to have all the words to speak on my behalf and go all over to all the nations and teach about him. And guess what Jeremiah did? He did that. And even before you two were born, God knew your name, and he has a plan for you two. Something, someday, he might even come to you and say, I need you to do something for me. And think about, it's about Jeremiah. He didn't think he could do something for God, but he did, because God touched him. And God will be able to touch you guys just like he touched Jeremiah. So if you're ever asked to do something, don't say those words, I can't do it. What are you going to say? What do you think you should say? I yeah, I'll give it a try. I'll do my best, God, and I'll give it a try. So that was today's lesson. Don't give up. Don't say I can't do it. You have to try, just like Jeremiah did. Amen. All right, let's say a little prayer. Dear Father, there may be things in this life that we cannot do on our own, but we know that if you ask us to do something, you will give us the ability to do it. So we need to trust in you. Amen. 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 Okay.